Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be working on palindrome linked list. And in this one, um, you're given the head of a singly linked list and you want to return true if it's a palindrome or false otherwise. So in this example, it would be true because basically what you want to do is you want to take all the values and see if that's a palindrome. So you get all the values here. So one, two, two, one is a palindrome. Um, and then in the second one, it's not. So you want to return false. And you can have um, 10 to the fifth nodes, and the value can be 0 to 9. So we'll talk about both solutions. Um, so one solution is pretty straightforward. You just have whatever linked list you have, like let's say you have this. You can just go through all the values, put them in an array. And then once you have an array of values, like 1, 2, 2, 1 or something, uh, it's pretty straightforward from there. You just use two pointers to compare each two values until you get to the center. So you would like compare these two values. If they are the same, then you would compare these two values. If they are the same, you keep doing that until you get to the center. And if there's ever a non-similar value, then you just return false. Kind of like a just basic, um, like is palindrome for a string, same exact thing. Just go by index starting at the first and the last. So the more interesting solution is the this one over here. And so the way to do this, I think it's like, I think you can definitely come up with it. Um, yeah, so the, the way to do this is basically, like let's take this example, this one, two, two, one. What you have to do is first, you can and you can use a, um, a slow and a fast pointer, but I think I'll just get the normal length. So we can just get the length of this linked list by like a traversal. And let's say this is four. Then we basically wanna just split it in half like this. And then we wanna reverse this. And what that is gonna allow us to do is then we can just compare each thing one by one. So for example, let's say we had the word like A, B, B, A. That's the equivalent of splitting this in half. So this left side's A, B. And then we reverse this other side and we get A, B as well. And we can just compare these like one by one. And if one is one digit longer, like let's say it was um, A, B, C, then you can split it. The C can be in either one. So let's say I split it like this. Then you just say like, okay, I'll compare letters. And then when one's out of bounds, it's palindrome. And if there's never ever not a match, then it's not. So basically here, the idea is you get the length, this is four. And then you want to break this and then reverse this list. So what you can do is you can take it, you can divide by two, and then you can traverse from the front to whatever this number is minus one. So in this case, we'll traverse once. So what that will look like is we will have like a pointer. It'll be here. We will traverse once then um, we want to also have a pointer over here. So we'll make a pointer over here. Then we want to just break this. Then we reverse this list here. So just a basic list reverse. And remember at the end of a list reverse, just like in yesterday's problem, um, you're gonna, your previous node will be the head of the new list. And then you have the head of this list, which is just this input here uh, into the function. They, they give you like the head or something like this head. So then basically from here, you just compare them one by one. So you say like, okay, are these the same? If they are, let's go to the next one and let's compare them and so on and so on. And for it's over this one too, what will happen is we will do a split and then these won't be the same. And you basically, um, to figure out the math for like how far you need to traverse and where you need to cut and stuff, I'd recommend uh, doing almost all your operations on a linked list of an even and an odd linked list. And for even, I'd try a linked list of length four or six. Anything bigger, it'll work for. And then for odd, I usually go with a length of five. So let's say we have five nodes here, the same example. So let's just say we have like one, two, three, two, one. So basically when we get the length, it'll be five. We can floor divide by two. We will get two and then we will subtract one and we'll get one. So let's see what happens in that case. So our pointer will start here. We will move it up once. Then um, then once we're here, we're gonna make another pointer to the one right after it. So right over here, then we will cut this. And so now this, this we don't need this anymore. So this should just be the front of the list. And then we reverse this list here. So we reverse this list. Um, this points like this, just a basic list reverse. And now this node at the end of the list reverse will be like this. Then we just compare like, okay, one's equal to one, two is equal to two. And now um, here's a three and here's an out of bounds. So we can just stop. And if there's ever a value that's not equal, you just return false. So let's say this two is like a four or something. You would just return false. So that's kind of the idea is you just take your string or whatever, 
um, break it in half and you can reverse it. And you can use this for like harder problems to do some stuff, to do like comparisons if you need to. Um, it's a little bit more efficient when you have to do a lot of like movement operations. Normal palindrome, you don't really need to do that. You can just use a left and right pointer, but um, for harder problems, you might have to like modify things. And if you modify things, it'll be a lot easier if your um, two items you're comparing line up instead of being like on opposite ends. So that's kind of the idea we're gonna do. And you can do this middle part with a fast and slow pointer. I'll just go through it and get the length. So let's code that in Java again. And yeah, my Java is not as good as Python. So if I have some issues, let me know. So we're gonna have a length and we will make a current pointer equal to the head. And then we will just run through our uh, link list and get the length. So while uh, cur does not equal null, increment length and cur equals cur next. So now we'll have some length. Um, and then we can just get like the half by, uh, so in Java, if you divide ints, it's basically a floor divide automatically. So if you do like five over two and they're both ints, it will give you two. So we can say integer half equals length over two minus one. Same thing as I did um, here. And you can, like I said, calculate this just by trying a couple examples, try an odd of reasonable length, like uh, five is good and then an even of length four or six, make sure it works for both and then it'll work for everything bigger. Okay, so we get the half, then we start at the head again. So we'll say cur equals head. Then what we want to do is we want to traverse this distance now. So we'll say four int i equals zero, i is less than half, i plus plus. Um, just traverse forward. So now what we will have is we'll have, um, this is right before we did the split. So our this is we're here. So now we need to store the node right after it, and then we need to cut this. So we are going to store the node after it. So we'll say list node second list or second head or whatever you want to call it um, equals cur next, and then make the chop there. Okay. So now that we did that, now we basically have this with this list not being reversed. So now we have the head of this list, and now we just need to run a list reverse, which is basically yesterday's problem, which is like five lines of code, so not that bad. So we can say list node previous equals null, while second list does not equal null. We'll make a, so I used temp yesterday, but you can use like a next node or whatever you want to call it. Um, so we'll say list node next equals second list next and second second list next equals the previous node. So maybe not the best names, but and then previous equals second list. And finally, our second list, the head of the list needs to go to the next node. So this is like going to the temp node here. Once again, you can use temp or something or whatever naming you want. So now that we have the head of the new list, which is this previous node, and we have the head of the original list, we have this head of this new list, the head of the original list, now we can just compare the values. And they should all be the same, or one will be one length, uh, one will be one longer than the other, the first one. And then that's fine because we can just, if one's out of bounds, we can just return there. So we can say while previous, which is the head of the new list, the head of the list on the right does not equal null, and head does not equal null then we compare them. So if previous value does not equal head value, we can return false. Otherwise we just move them both up. So previous equals prev next and head equals head next. And if we're able to go through this whole thing, uh, we can return true. So kind of hefty. I guess we can get rid of this, but yeah. It'd definitely be a lot less code to just make an array in a two-pointer to uh, check for palindrome, but this is better. And the benefit of using Java is you have three MS runtime where Python is so slow. So. Okay, Um. anyway, so here the time is, uh, so basically let's recap what we did. So we took our list, we traversed it to get the length, that's O of N. We got to the middle point and split it in half, that's O of N we split the, or we reverse the second half, that's O of N, and then we compared the two lists, which is also O of N. So it's just a bunch of O of N operations. Um, and space is O of one because we only made a few more uh, like pointers. We didn't like 
copy any nodes or anything. I mean, we we copied some, but we, we didn't like make a copy of the whole list. So if the list is like 10 million or whatever, we still only have like three or four nodes that we made. So the time is of n space so one. All right. So yeah, uh, and if this is helpful, I do think like this first one, if you just use an array, that's probably like an easy problem. The reverse is closer to a medium for sure. Um, but yeah, a lot of these problems to do these things, like the things to look for in like list problems is literally list reverse um, and to be able to traverse correctly. So when al almost all the tricky solutions are do some kind of reverse of some part of the list and compare it to some other part of the list. That's like almost all the tricky problems, kind of like this one. Um, and you can you can do a lot of things with that uh, with that. So so yeah, it's gonna be all for this one. Hopefully you liked it. Well, once again, let me know how it is with Java. I do think for a lot of problems, Java is a little bit better. You have to think a bit more, and so definitely a better practice. It's like it's like uh, doing algorithms on like a harder difficulty or something. But yeah, regardless, uh, if you did like this, then please like the channel and subscribe. And I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.